Marriage is perhaps the most vital of all decisions and has the most far-reaching effects, for it has to do not only with immediate happiness, but eternal joys. If I asked you if an action on this block of wood could have an effect on this block, you would probably say yes, and you would be right. If I start a movement here, it can affect all of the blocks to here. There are things that we choose to do in our lives that have an effect on other lives for generations, just like one block of wood can affect other blocks. I'll give you an example. On a couple's wedding day, the focus is usually on the bride and groom. Sometimes little thought is given to the generations that can come after them. Like Rebecca, I shall forsake the rest to marry in the covenant and meet the Lord's request. I'll nurture bag and children and teach them of the plan that my children's children's children may be blessed, may be blessed as only the righteous can. Ten days ago, I had a beautiful and touching experience in the Salt Lake Temple the building immediately to the east of this tabernacle. There in that holy sanctuary, I had the privilege of sealing in marriage in two separate but consecutive ceremonies, two beautiful young women who were twins, each to a handsome and able young man of her choice. That evening, a double wedding reception was held where hundreds of friends came to express their love and good wishes. Mothers often shed tears at a wedding ceremony, sisters also, and sometimes fathers. Seldom do grandparents show any emotion. But these beautiful girls were my own granddaughters. And I must confess that this old grandfather choked up and had a difficult time. I don't understand why. <laughs> Certainly it was a happy occasion. <laughs> A fulfillment of dreams and prayers. Perhaps my tears were really an expression of joy and of gratitude to God for these lovely brides and their handsome young husbands. In sacred promises, they pledged their love and loyalty one to another for time and all eternity. How wonderful a thing is marriage under the plan of our eternal Father a plan provided in his divine wisdom for the happiness and security of his children and the continuity of the race. He is our creator, and he designed marriage from the beginning. At the time of Eve's creation, Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Like Isaac, I'll follow and prepare To marry in the covenant Eternal blessing share I'll teach to all my children The power of the plan that their children's children's children will be blessed, will be blessed as only the righteous can. Marriage for eternity blesses my. of a tree turned upward unto thee growing upward forever in thee We can easily see the effects these blocks have on each other. 
sometimes the far-reaching effects of our marriages aren't so obvious. But our decisions about marriage in the covenant have eternal effects, both on us and our posterity. Growing up,